So today is October 17th, and if you follow any tech news, you probably know that that means Windows 8.1 has been released today to the public. So the Windows 8.1 update is a little bit different than, say, previous versions of Windows, like Windows 7 when you would get your service pack update. For Windows 8.1, you may think you need to come to Control Panel and Windows Update and then check for updates. And we'll do that real quick here, and we'll see what comes up. And it says, okay, one important update. Let's see what this is. Oh, that's just Windows Defender, and it's not in our optional updates either. So like I said, the Windows 8.1 update is a little bit different in how you go about downloading and installing it. So to get Windows 8.1, let's go to the Start page, and let's come up here to the Windows Store. And right there, the very first thing we see is Update Windows. And if you already have Windows 8, then the update to Windows 8.1 is absolutely free. So to get the update, we'll just click on this giant tile and then we can simply download it and install it. So we'll just click the download button. So after Windows 8.1 downloads completely, be sure to follow the on-screen instructions to install it. And as always, you may want to back up all of your data before you go installing an updated operating system. So while this is downloading, I'm actually going to go back to the desktop here into Pro Tools. I'm gonna get back to work in Pro Tools. I'm just gonna let that update go ahead and download and when it comes time to install, I'll of course close down Pro Tools and install. So this was just a quick video on how you would actually get the Windows 8.1 update. We can see right up here that when we come back to our store, it says installing, we can click that and we can see it's still downloading. So after I get this installed, I'll be sure to do a follow-up video and we'll check and see if Pro Tools 10, Pro Tools 11, and Media Composer still work on Windows 8.1.